Welcome in. It's a Sunday sermon. Every Sunday we give a sermon out of our uh, book of scripture. Our book of scripture happens to be this book right here, the United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept. Uh, it's a compensatory uh, counter-racist code by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. This happens to be the uh, 2016 edition. Uh, the, the, it first came out in 2000, well, not 2000, 1984, but since he's revised in 2016, this is the revised and expanded edition. Remind, remember, remember, this is a, a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action for the victims of racism, white supremacy. Hold let me uh, adjust my camera just a little bit there, just a little bit. leave anything out. Anyway, um, I'll leave it like that. So, all you need is, I'm a talking head. <laughs> Talk about talking heads. Just a second, I'm going to wet my whistle with some uh, coconut water. Uh, we're going to read from uh, uh, page uh, uh, 190 and 190. It goes over to 191. To read it, I better put my glasses on for this Sunday sermon. And we'll talk a little bit afterwards. This is what Sunday sermons are about. Uh, again, this is our book of scripture here. You know, everybody, you, you, you have, there's other books of scriptures that you can use, but we use this book of scripture. Okay. All right. And we're under area six of uh, people activity. This is a politics or people relations. That is that 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 you like to call it. Now remember, there are um, there are nine areas of human activity that Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. would want to tell you. Uh, there's a, a law. Well, well no, I'm sorry. There's a economics, education, uh, entertainment, labor, law, politics, which is just area six that we're dealing with today. Uh, religion, sex, and war, counter war. That's the ninth area. On his on his uh, broadcast, as uh, Miss Neely Fuller Jr. Uh, transmits every Tuesday over um, over the internet. Uh, just look it up, Miss Neely Fuller Jr. Producejustice.com. They they have it right there, and you can get back uh, talks that he does. And it's always good to uh, you know, well get the book, but also just listen to Miss Neely Fuller Jr. Right. So uh, let's see. Um, um, uh, Let's do right here. Stop calling any that anything that a non-white person does or says great, right, or something to be in this in uh um in, uh intimidated. Uh, intimidated it must be uh emulated. It's supposed to be emulated for no other reason than what was done or said was different. Or attention getting. Okay, I always like to elevate people. Study what was done or what was said uh, for its true value. And he has an explanation. Im imitated. What is imitated? To be imitated. Okay, let me read that again. Stop calling anything that a non white person does uh, or says as great or something to be imitated. For no other reason than what is done or said was different or attention getting. Study what was done and what is said and for its true value. I would add to that anybody that's a first, the first uh, black this, the first whatever that, the, the, the colored this or the colored that, right? Then he has the explanation next of this one thing here. Many non white people are so desperate for a so-called hero or role model that they too often give praise or activity um, to activity that does little or nothing to help end white supremacy or little or nothing to help produce justice. Think about that. All these celebrities and all these people, you know, the preacher, whoever, they put up there as your, your, the idol, you know, including Jesus. <laughs> uh, do not worship idolize or incorrectly cater 
to any person because of his or her possessions, knowledge, this is important, or appearance of power. Be polite and constructively helpful, but do not belittle yourself or others in order to gain the favor of such people. Now, people suck up, suck up to you and stuff like that. Don't do it. <laughs> That's what Mr. Nelly Ford used to say. Don't do it, right? Now this girl goes into something that because somebody called up on the program and 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 he went on to explaining that you know even Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. You, you don't idolize him you don't say this is our, our, well this is our leader whatever it is I I'm, I'm, I happen to say I'm an acolyte of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. But then again I run at our community center in Denbaza I run the, the, the we we call ourselves well, I call I label the the operation <laughs> the acolytes of liberation. And under that, under that banner, we have uh, there's there's three influences to the acolytes of of, of uh, liberation. One is a uh, uh, Yaki from Yaki Awaken. That's our nutrition kind of guy. You know, uh, so we would study him. Right. Uh, second person is me. I'm I'm, the, I'm like the guidance counselor. That's all. Right. And then the third person we use the code of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Okay. But we don't idolize these people. We examine what they say and what we could use. We use we don't we don't because we're in the middle. You know, we're in the middle of the of the uh, uh, of a rural area of Southern Africa, so a lot of stuff that you won't apply to that kind of situation. You see, but here's something that came up. Uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. was talking about race. Interestingly enough, now you know when you're born, they put down on your your, your uh, birth certificate, or whatever have you. Like mine's, I should show you mine. Mine's basically says. Uh, but they, they don't tell you what, at least when I get my birth certificate, they don't tell you what you are. They tell you what your parents were, you see. So both of my thing said I have uh, both my parents were classified as colored, right? So obviously, if I have two parents that are colored, then I obviously must be colored. <laughs> I guess that's the way to say it. But more importantly, whatever your mother is, that's what you basically should be because you don't know. Here's the thing. You don't really know. Okay, I know you know, but you don't really know if that's your daddy. You see what I'm saying? Let me put it this way. I like the way the the uh, at least in, in Mexico and some Latin countries do it, where they put your your last name is your mother's last name, your second to last name is your father's last name, reported your father. Therefore, anybody with that last name, you know, Rodriguez, you you might be related to them, you know, because you see the the, the the last name. I think that's a much swifter. Plus, you know, that's this person came out of this mother. You know, the father. Yeah, well, I'm just saying, right? But interesting when you're born like that. But now when you fill out these forms from then on, you know, I guess I should be saying colored on my form, but you know, if things change, was we colored, then we, then we were uh, black, and now we're African-American, you know, whatever, you know, like that. But the, I think the interesting thing, thing uh, for this, you know, and then you could be a bunch of things like, you know, I got the conference from the AF, from the ADOS, you know, uh, second annual conference that I went to, uh, a couple of years ago, last year, whenever it was, uh, you know, ADOS, American descendant of, of chattel slavery, of, of slavery, they say, the institution of slavery. But here's the thing, what I've decided, like, you know, when you're born, you know, they, they always ask you, especially in these uh, communities, certain, certain cultures, what's your race? Well, we all say, uh, at least the, uh, you know, the meters, you know, the, 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 the Neville brothers used to say, like, well, there's one race, the human race. So your race is human. Anything else is a convenience of the people that want to classify you and therefore um, hold sway over your thinking and what you do. You follow me on this, right? So from now on, I'm going to put the, when I say race, I'm going to go to other and say human. Human race. Because I don't need them to classify me. Because Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. pointed out in this last um, thing, we're at the end of October now, I forgot what, what, what day was, last Tuesday, whatever, whatever date today is, you know, I'm not going to look it up, just last Tuesday, you, whenever it's posted, last Tuesday, don't look at that one. He talked about race, and he said something very interesting. This is why we listen to Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. It's not, everything is just not written on the scripture. If you put down your race, then aren't you in collusion with the with the with the, with the false construct of race, I'm talking about filling out forms. I'm not. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm look. I'm obviously a black man. I like being black. I like being a black man, a black male. 
I have to say it that way. I love being a black male. When I was born and right up to now, I love that. I wouldn't be nothing else. If they say, you got to come back, come back, black male. That's what I want, right? Because the battle is with us, right? We do, we do, we do, we do, we do, right? But interestingly enough, if I don't list race as black, whatever have you, then I can't, I'm not cooperating with that, uh, with that construct that they made. And plus, what happens is they, if you look at the system, the way the system is, what happens if you don't say race, they automatically assume that you're white or everybody's trying to be white. They're trying to be a race that has advantage over other races. So from now on, people say, what's your race? I'm say human. Yeah, but aren't you black? Yeah, I'm black. But you asked me my race. Um, human race. No, black is my, yeah, black is my ethnicity. This is what I think I am. You know what I mean? You know how people people say they feel they they feel something they feel like they're uh, this or they're that. Well, I feel like I'm a warrior black man. So that's what I feel like I am. Where am I on the planet? I'm human. And as Miss Neely Fuller Jr. would say, I'm I'm striving to be a universal universal man. You see, isn't that simple? Isn't that good? Well, good and not as simple. It's simple to me. It makes sense to me. So. Remember, everything is thought, speech, and or action. So this is our thought. And I just spoke, spoke. And he also brought out speaking is also a form of action. Could be a form of action. So that's what it is. From me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the trenches to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.